of this award that you got in the uh, in LA sa Queer Fest, no? Uh, direct. How did it feel that the audience loved it and they gave you that award? Um, yun yeah, like parang for me personally as a director, you know how other directors they want to gun for best picture, best screenplay. Right. For me, the award that I always gun for in every festival is the audience choice award, because for me that those are the people that I want to speak to. Those are the people I want to touch at the end of the day. And to win that award at an international film festival means that the work speaks for itself and it's super great. And not just a few people uh, <laughs> judging. Oh, I'm I not mean, saying like, that I we're was, not... I, I, I was up against some of my personal heroes. So wow. <laughs> you can't <have> a tough <laughs> It was so surreal that we won against them. It was like such a big name. So. Pero direct sige. Bago natin tanong uh, ask their questions. Establish nung natin. Paano mo nabuo yung sleep with me na story? Um, is it your personal story? Was it inspired by a friend's story? Medyo halu halu siya ng ng different elements. So some of it is based on personal experiences. Uh, some another part of it is Marin Kader kasi nagma masters sa CUP in women's studies. It's my second master. So um, there's an academic theory called crip theory kung saan sinasabi na yung yung people with disabilities and yung LGBTQ+ plus communities pareho silang minority groups na na other right. sa society in Agreed. terms of legislation, laws and stuff like that. So I thought to myself, how can I tackle these issues? in a Trojan horse of a rom-com. Okay. And so that's how Sleep With Me was born. Right. Kasi nga, nung napanood ko din, okay, so, love stories. Pero, yun nga, tama sa'yo mo, Trojan horse, isa-isa, lumalabas na yung mga issues and things that we should be talking about. Galing, direct, ha? Okay, simulan na natin ng Q&A. Um, Aaron, ikaw mo mag-a-assist. Si Don, doon yata mag-first question, eh. Yes. Game na to! Game na game na! Siyempre, <laughs> based on experience. Based then on experience. <laughs> Go, Don, Don. Hello, ayan. Of course, um, uulitin ko lang yung question ko sa mga BL sa ayan na na-attendan ko. Kasi, Um, yung question lang ay ano ang intention nyo ng paggawa nitong GL serye? Kasi ay uh, GL film to ano? Serye. Ah, serye oh. din. So kasi yes. diba ang BL serye, let's face it, gusto talaga nilang maipakilala na ang ganong mundo. And inormalize. Yes. Ganyan. And at the same time, meron din namang iba na gustong kumita at gusto lang din painitin ang pakiramdam ng mga gay community. But in your case kasi, Um, hindi ko sure kung ilan ng kung gaano kayo karami sa buong mundo pero anong intention what's the motivation direct mm-hmm. i think at the end of the day as a storyteller intention ko talaga na to tell as different kinds of stories as possible actually medyo contentious nga yung relationship ko with the word gl because for me sleep with me has so much more depth than what is No, like than what that genre mm-hmm. is known for. And his story, kasi yung mga GL, mga lalaki gumagawa eh. And Sleep With Me was made with a predominantly all-female, all-LGBTQ plus team. So, yung gays, yung tingin talaga niya, yung puso yung serye, is from the eyes and experiences of women. So, that's what makes it different. Uh, yun, yun, same question sa dalawa. Of course, meron din naman sila. Uh, intention uh, kung bakit na tinanggap yung pelikula ay itong ang ano sa akin ako in any project naman it's about the script and about the story awesome. okay. and then kung maganda yung script sino magdi-direct walang diba? personal na parang gusto mong tumulong din sa LGBTQ community or Well, even before Sleep With Me naman, I'd like to consider myself an ally. Sana siya sa Pride every year. <laughs> It's always oh, been funny. important to me talaga na um, to show up for the LGBT community in, in other ways. So I think, sana, this also adds to that movement and also encourages people to really take action and not just yung parang tolerate. Yung parang talagang make steps, you know, do, do stuff to support the LGBT community. But, but More than anything, ang ganda lang talaga ng kwento. Ang ganda ng script. And that's really what drew me initially to the project. I mean, uh, I'm glad that we somehow get to use, um, you know, our influence as actors, you know, to normalize um, these kinds of stories. And also, yeah, I've always wanted to work with the next Sam. And I've always wanted to work with Janine. Parang 
wala na akong hanapin pa kasi napakaganda pa rin script. So it was just um, an immediate yes. Yeah. Okay. Okay ka na doon? Hindi, actually, last na lang. Okay. First, alam ko, pa-sweet pa sa'yo. Isa lang yung doon ka. Nagbago ako, ha? Love and Janine, was there a time sa shooting ba na, a taping na, kinilig kayo sa isa't isa? Off ka? <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, actually, <laughs> Actually, I feel like there was a time that I felt like I was going to be like Lobby. No kasi, way! <laughs> no, yeah, because I, I really wanted to like get yeah. closer to her. Because yeah. for my own selfish reasons yeah. that I love you, I'm a fan, <laughs> and and I want you to know that I'm here oh. for you and things like that. Oh. Diba? Parang mas, mas masaya pag magaan yung loob niyo sa isa't isa. So, yeah. gusto ko na mahalin ako ni Lobby. So, and like birthday siya during yeah. the lock-in. So, I ordered her. I know! <laughs> I ordered her a gift na parang friends merch because I know yeah. love niya friends. Pero parang natutorpe ako na I don't know how to give it to her. Like, shucks, I'm shy. Like, diba? parang patay ka na. Oo, medyo, medyo. Yeah, napat, yeah. napatili ako when I opened the bag. I was like, oh my God! Oh my gosh, sabi ko, oh my God. Magaling, magaling. Marunong mong higaw. Pumasa ka. <laughs> With flying colors. No, yeah, yun nga yung sinasabi ko. Yung mamihan scene talaga was like, for me, the scene na kinikilig ako the same because um, at some point nung nag, when I started becoming Luna and my head talagang nakakonscious na akong tignan siya diretso sa mata kasi she is just like alam mo yung parang very confident na looking straight sa akin di ba pag may crush ka yung yung awkward ka na hindi ka makatingin <laughs> so parang eventually ganun yung naramdaman ko so paano pa yung gising scene? yung gising Yeah, so, Siguro, we'll start with direct. Oh, direct, yeah. Yeah. paano nyo yun kinoreograph, binuo? Bitin eh, direct eh. Uh, In the ways, eh. actually, uh, BTS. <laughs> <laughs> yung love scene yung shoot na first, before this. Oh. So, wala na sa, hindi na sila eh lang at this point. Parang, nagawa na lang yung love scene kaya na namin to. So, It's always like that. Napapansin ko, parang nauuna lagi yung ganong scene, yung the intimate scenes, no? In a project, lovey. Parang mabreak agad yata yung love scene, lovey. Actually, this is my first love scene. No. The first is ni Direct Sam. No, but, um, yeah, for some, I don't know, siguro nagkakataon, or I don't know if he did that on purpose, no, or, maybe she's like, hmm. Sana nga, actually, parang middle of the shoot na yun, eh. Pero, ano, it was, it was fun, um, to do. Kasi nga, parang, um, wala, iba yung pag-explore ng eksena na yun, because, It, we were laughing at the same time. Right. Mm -hmm. There were awkward moments, like how it is. At kailangan yun yeah. for the new ones, yes. So yes. direct, no, medyo may konting ano pa. Yes. Well, so, okay. Important for me as a female director na both my leads, ano, comfortable sila and they felt safe on set. So every scene na uh, intimate, and I explain ka sa kanila yung ilaw, at yung itura niya, at yung angle, at yung ano. So alam nila, they know everything that goes on full transparency. So I think it's easier for them to get on board. So kinasabi mo kanina, kinikilig ka kay Lovey. Eh, nung ginagawa niyo na yung intimate scene, paano na? Nag-transform siya. Ano na naging, ano? No, the nice thing about that scene is na... Yung pagkasulat niya, it's not what you would expect na parang scandalous love scene or it felt so real, yung pagkasulat. Kasi you know when you meet someone, you're yeah. parang starting to date pa lang, like, yeah. yung merong shyness, may awkwardness, yeah. merong nagbabanggaan, like... Yeah. Konting wall pa. Yeah, yeah. It's those things that you don't usually see in, right. in, in love scenes. Right. And I love that Sam wrote it that yeah. way. Na parang ito yun eh, like, ganito yeah. Siya. You know, it's not glamorous like hair in the wind. Yeah. That's so true. <laughs> diba? Sa so, totoong buhay ba, ganun? Right. So, I hope na makarelate kayo. I think this is the love scene na talagang makakarelate kayo. Kahit ang mga... Kahit ang hindi mga lesbian or... Yeah, of course. Kasi in any love scene naman eh, there's that awkwardness. But in most love scenes that are shown, hindi na napapakita yun. So, I guess... At least in this, nagamit din natin yung parang kaba natin. Kasi ganun din yung sa eksena. Panoorin mo muna. Yes! yes. Kung nakarelate. And speaking of that, <laughs> Don Don, it's a six-episode series. Baka mas more na experience ko eh. 
Thank you very much. Thank you. Tanggalan nyo na ng mic si Dondon. Baka mag too much information na siya. Tell us more. It's a six, six episode series showing on I Want TFC. And on August 15, it's a one day drop. As in, <laughs> I-binge watch na siya starting August 15 on I Want TFC. Pero yes. na doon doon. Okay, who's next, Aaron? Yes, oh MJ. Ito, the Madam? Madam, oh of course. Ang binabasag ang wall tuwing may collab scene. Where I don't know this <laughs> Madam Alex Brosses. Saka. Ay, ka <laughs> Hello. Uh, to Janine and Lori. You seem to have the audacity to get out of your comfort zone by doing this uh, series. Uh, where is that audacity coming from? <laughs> Spell. <laughs> Spell. Spell. <laughs> Spell audacity. How dare you get out of your comfort zone? <laughs> Actually, I find that so funny because sometimes there are comments on my posts promoting sleep with me na, wow, ang tapang mo. Ginawa mo to. I don't think it's matapang at all. I feel so honored that I was chosen to be part of this project. And I'm so happy to get to share this story with other people. I think more than anything, naman kasi it's a love story. And you're trying to share and highlight the relationship of two people. So parang natatawa ako na people think it's matapang or anything. I'm just happy to be part of this story. Siguro parang people think lang it na parang disanay sila sa ganito classic mga roles mo and everything. Now you're pushing the envelope and trying daring stuff. No, Alex, no? Parang ganun. Kinda. Yeah. Kinda. <laughs> what about you, Lavi? Um, yeah, I mean... I uh, also, like Janine, find it weird that some people would be like, are you, are you sure about this? Um, like this role, the, this project, and I'm like, yeah, definitely. I mean, parang hindi na siya, um, never ako nagdalawang isip. Kasi nga napakaganda ng story. And I just feel like, you know, it's just such a great opportunity to, you know, show support. And it's something that I keep saying it, it needs to be normalized. Na parang, it, it, and a good story needs to be told. You know, and something that other people can relate to. But uh, we have to put it out there, and just to be given the opportunity to um, portray sh such characters and be part of such an amazing story. But uh, it's it's already like. Uh, I don't know. I think it's a privilege for us. Yeah. May I add lang, sobrang na-appreciate ko din po talaga yung perspective ng Dreamscape. Like from from being a Dreamscape girl and then speaking to our, our bosses na, you know, the content that we put out, we want it to be global. And I think siguro like kami and us, like we're so used to watching these kinds of stories sa Netflix, sa Amazon, ganyan. Siguro yung mga ibang Pinoy nagugulat pa kasi hindi pa masyadong madami yung ganito. So ngayon naiintindihan ko na kung bakit para sa iba ang tapang mo, ganyan. But I'm so happy to be part of Dreamscape and you know, under Project 8 and Sam. Kasi yung vision nila is to share Filipino stories globally. At yung talagang maipakita yung version nito from our local perspective. But for a global Global audience, not just for our kapamilas abroad, but also for people from other nationalities, like Southwest and things like that. So happy talaga ako that you know to be part of Dreamscape and and APS doing these kinds of stories. Para mas share din sa mga Filipinos natin na parang nagugulat pa or like oh my ganito pala. So ang dami din talaga ng matututunan with Sleep with Me. Ang follow-up question. Uh, since you were not known as lesbians of intergalactic proportion, wow. uh, did you did you make some immersions? Did you do some immersions or interviews or di ba parang studies? Oh, research. Research. Yeah, especially for our our characters, because parang our disabilities, parang it's something that I wasn't even aware of till Sam told me about it, and she sent me like articles na about someone who actually has a delayed um, sleep, sleep face syndrome. So, Shempre, to portray these kinds of characters, we have to uh, arrive to set now, we're fully prepared, and we know somehow what's happening. So, maraming, um, yeah, pinadala si Sam na pwede naming aralin, and also, yeah, it's just, and talagang, ano siya, um, nag-immerse kami kasi night shift, <laughs> yung, yung, ano, yung, yung shoot namin halos. 
Janine? Yes, uh, of course I have a lot of friends talaga who are who are in lesbian relationships, I have a cousin, um, so they were so excited and I, I would share the script with them and the story, oh, yeah. yeah, like, makaka-relate sila, just like checking to see what they think. Anong reaction? Ano nila? Kinikili. Oh, Kinikili. yun. They, they were so excited for, for me to do it. Right. Um, and then I also watched a lot of films like yung Portrait of a Lady on Fire, Blue is the Warmest Color, things like that, just to get to just to see like different stories although problematic but, but just, like, just like to expose myself to to different stories because um i was really excited to do sleep with me yeah and also sorry i'll just add um see si sam has a, um she created a playlist for us para maramdaman namin yung vibe ng sleep with me so yun yung nakatulong for me as someone who listens to music a lot, so I yeah. thought you were gonna say, and see Sam is a lesbian. Oh, change my name, 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 uh, ah, the series, sorry. Uh, what made you feel that the series will be exceptional in terms of being a series about lesbian? Well, never. Did you claim that? I don't have. I don't go into anything thinking I'm exceptional. Actually, I go into things thinking. No, I'm not speaking about <laughs> you, about. I'm speaking about the film, uh, the, the series. What makes it exceptional? Um, I think as a lesbian series, I think the fact that it's you know written and directed by someone with the lived experience, as compared to other uh, GL and lesbian films that were directed by cis head men, I think that alone is worthy of merit. But aside from that, it's just an extraordinary cast and crew who helped bring my vision to life, which makes it amazing. Uh -huh. Uh, what is the contribution of Antonet Adaune and Dan Villegas in this series? Is there any? So they are the producers under their production company, Project 8. Mm -hmm. uh, so actually, Derek Dan just called me one day and he was like, my series is so epic. I go, I've had this series that I've pitched to so many people and no one wants to make it. Uh, do you want it? And he's like, let's pitch it in Dreamscape. And so that's Aww. how it happened. Yeah. Hi there, thank you. So how long have been, uh, So how long yung matira lang na nasa yo? Since 2019. Ah, barely 3 years. Uh -huh. Tagal na yun and my world usually 10 months na yun turn around. Din. So Pero kung sino yung kasa idea mo na magpa-portray? Si Lovey and si Janine. Oh, wow, yun talaga. As in, they kept picturing other names. I was like, I'm only gonna do it if it's love you get Talagang para sa inyo talaga. Kayo talaga. Wala nang iba. Tsaka may mga, kung mapanad niya na siya, meron siyang specificities na very them talaga. Like okay. my lines that refer to their quirks and, and nuances. So it's it's tailored fit for wow. both of them. Wow. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Alex. Um, you mentioned kanina no, yung sa Outfest. Lovey, I was curious lang, may mga lumapit ba sa'yo namang audience giving their reactions? Oh, yeah. Yes, um, yun nga yung maganda. Actually, even before that, nung pinapalabas yung um, first three episodes, na narinig namin yung reactions ng mga tao. Doon pa lang, I was just like, I was amazed and I was like, I wonder how it feels to be Sam right now. Kasi the fact that she wrote it and she, right. yung, siya talaga yung captain of the ship and right. Everyone's just like everyone loved it, and yun iba yung pakaram naman. And people started um, congratulating us, and they were just it was just nice that na appreciate the mata that's not even like um, someone from the Philippines, you know. So it's just it was great. Direct ka, may mga lumapit sa yo. Shempre, ano your favorite experience kaden barang my people from other nationalities 
who came up to me. Tapos nandescribe na lang yung feeling nila while watching. Pero, oh, I felt so excited. Oh, I was so giddy. Oh, I was like screaming. And I was, I was like, no, actually, may Tagalog word for what you're feeling. And that's kilig. Kilig. So, it was, ano, uh, parang, it was cool na tayo lang yung may ganung word eh. Yeah. And uh, na, right. nag-translate siya to other cultures. Right. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, uh, who's next? Yeah. Yes, uh, MJ, our next question will come from the songbird of Speed wow. and the entertainment editor of Bandera, no other than Irving Santiago. Eh, nag-blush tuloy sa Irving. Nag-blush tuloy sa Irving. Nag-blush tuloy sa Irving. Nag-blush tuloy sa Irving. Nag-blush tuloy sa intergalactic program. Sean Bird. Sean Bird. And for uh, Lovey and Janine, was there a time ba na niligawan kayo ng... Big Bush. Like, uh, pwedeng mag-trimming, mag-trimming muna siya bago... <laughs> Ayan. Ayan. Was there a time na may naligaw sa inyo oh! mga lesbian and paano nyo sila hinarap or hinanggal? Or kung wala naman, ano yung magiging reaction nyo kung liligawan kayo ng mga tomboy? <laughs> Live? Sige, lang sige, yun. Sige, lahat sa'yo. Hindi man siya bad word. Parang five times yun na talong yun to the end. Ako, I don't have the experience na naligawan. Yeah. But yeah, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. I mean, if you like someone, you like someone. Yeah. You know? Ang ganda na sanayin po kanina, love you. True. Yeah. When love is love. Love is love. You know, it's like, uh, you don't have to categorize it. Yeah. Sure. How about Jenny? Yeah, I agree. And after seeing the relationship of Harry and Luna and what they've been through, and if I met Luna in real life, <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Girl, <laughs> oh my God. I mean, the leg. <laughs> who's to say, the ba? If you're given the chance at a happy ending, yeah. why not? Sa kasi generation now, ano, talagang gender fluid na lahat. They right. don't look at the gender, they just look at the person. Diba? Ganun na ngayon. At yun din, sabi mo kanina, um, it's like, is the relationship good for you? That's, at the end of the day, if, it, if, if, if that person uplifts you, makes you happy, and, you know, it's not a toxic relationship, you become a better person because of the, your partner, then, you know, That's the person. That's the person. Yeah. Then that's the right person. Yeah. Nice. Okay. Uh, last na lang. Ano po yung um, magiging message nyo dun sa mga moralista na hanggang ngayon hindi pa rin tanggap yung mga lesbian relationship? Direct Sam. At diba magmura, Char? I love it. <laughs> joke. So <laughs> <bad. laughs> I hope na the yung goal talaga ng series na to is to open all y- open the viewers up sa iba't ibang klase ng experiences hindi lang sa relationships pero sa buhay ng iba't ibang klase ng tao so even if i can't change your mind i just hope that it makes you see things differently for 20 minutes and then do with that what you will ayun na sumagot eh sila na lang diyan magmumula <laughs> Perfect. That's why you said the direct Sam Irving said in the lobby. Thank you. Uh, before we go to the next one, direct, I have a question. Because the winning contest in the BL series or BL movies and girls love series and movies is that why are there no gay or LGBT actors in the cast? I know they were your first choice and they were your only choice, but I know they were your first choice and they were your only choice. Pero dapat ba ganun? As a director, when you're doing uh, 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 a, a story or a project like this, kailangan LGBT actors na talaga. As someone, because for my second film, I actually cast open me gay uh, individuals for the queer roles. And right. actually, for the support cast of Sleep With Me, I cast pe- members of the LGBTQ plus right. to play the support roles. Um, unfortunately, if I did what I... None of you were in my in the press con of my second film. <laughs> so it's still I understand the value and the merit of having uh, members of the LGBTQ plus community play those roles and I advocate for it. I've right. actually done it. Right. But also I on the other side of things, I understand the value and the merit of having stars like Lovey and Janine use their platforms to tell these kinds of stories. So, you know, n- n- not one thing is wrong, not one thing is right. Right. 
for me at the end of the day, as long as you get to tell your story well and tama at wala kang nasasaktan. Kasi yung iba, yung problem dun is straight directors, straight screenwriters, straight actors, there's no gay person on set to tell them what they're doing. Yes, taka ka sa akin, diba? Right. So, <laughs> yun yung problem, I think. At right, the right. Pero tama yung sabi mo, kasi nga, malaki ang influence and reach nilang dalawa and we could use that to send the message across. Yeah, as in, diba, parang, imagine the conversations we will, the people will be having sa mga bahay nila. Diba? When they see. Something like this oh, is showing right. what I want. Na it's lovely and genuine, diba? Imagine yung impact na yan sa mga buhay ng mga young people na in the closet pa or hindi pa tanggap yung sinin. Totoo. Diba? So, Totoo. Totoo. So I'm so thankful to Lavi and Janine to be scared. For saying yeah, yes. For saying For yes. Yeah. <laughs> For sleeping with you yeah. in the project. Yeah. Uh, Aaron, see you next. Yes, MJ, our next set of questions will come from M. Enriquez of Preview Magazine. Hi. Hi, Hi Aaron. Thank you for coming. Of course, yes. Oh my God, I'm so kilig. Okay. So, hi there, Sam, Lovey and Janine. Um, uh, Lovey, congrats on Flower of Evil. Yes, I've been watching. I've been watching. I'm a fan of the original K drama. Yeah. And then, Janine, the last uh, screening slash press when I went to was for me and Kaya. Yeah, so yeah, a big fan, big fan. So um, there's a lot of questions about yung uh, pagiging lesbian story niya. Pero uh, ako yung tanong ko, gusto ko naman pagtunan yung disabilities. So what challenges did you guys face? Or how did you prepare for the role na for Janine, who's um, so far from the trailer, you know, a physically disabled? And then for Lovey, who just revealed that she has a uh, chronic uh, uh, Ganda yes. naman ng question. Books, go. Go preview, man. <laughs> a preview girl for life, chat. Um, yeah, actually, that was um, what I really wanted to prepare for more than being a lesbian. It was being a wheelchair user. Because, of course, I want to play it in a convincing way. And... Um, Yun, be as authentic as possible to the character and what she would be in real life if Harry existed. And there are Harrys who exist. So Sam was we very... To, yes, we spoke to si Kat. Um, I, well, actually, Sam lang. I just watched the recording. But um, it was really helpful because it's literally life from another point of view. Being a wheelchair user. As in, mag-iiba talaga yung, yung life mo. Um, especially in the Philippines where accessibility is like so bad. And I hope that's something din na ma-realize ng maraming tao na we have such a long way to go in the Philippines to be accessible for all kinds of people. Um, and yun, I was with my wheelchair maybe like a week or two weeks before the shoot. So pag gabi, nag-iikot ako sa bahay, sa village. I I would watch so many videos on YouTube. Even the simple things that um, we might not even think of, like how do you get on your bed, things like that. Yun yung mga gusto namin ni Direct na ma-portray in a very convincing way. So I hope we pulled it off. I love you. About your character and her... Um condition um the condition because of luna it's not something that's physical so um mabilis siyang ma-judge ng ibang tao because um like we sinabi din sa kwento that oh baka party ka ng party because they always think that she goes out a lot and she just drinks you know not knowing that she has a certain condition so i think um in preparations ko it's basically reading the articles um, that Sam sent me. And she would like give me little tiny notes about um, Luna. But it, it's hard to say because it's from someone else's point of view. But I think it helped a lot that we shot everything um, uh, sa gabi. I'm such a morning person. So parang in such a way, nagamit ko yun. Um, yeah, yeah. So it, it helped a lot. So if there are moments that I look tired, I actually was sleepy. <laughs> just kidding. No, no, but, no, no, I'm kidding. No, but it's just more of like, no, it's just nice to put it up. <laughs> I have a problem. 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 Fresh. <laughs> no, no, no. But it was, um, it was nice because that yung ganitong klaseng kwento, hindi ko malalaman kung hindi dahil sa sleep with me. 
And I remember Sam mentioned nga na parang maybe there are people nga na hindi nila alam that they have this kind of condition. Eh. So if you feel like you're always up um, sa gabi and you're, you work well at night, you have to have your self-check. Diba? Parang he said something like that. So... Yeah, so it's nice to be aware na may ganito class and condition. Can I add to your question? Kasi why those disabilities? Why was it close to your heart to put it out and talk about it? Kasi... And why did you have to put it? Pwede naman kasing wala na eh. Pwede parang it's a normal uh, girl's love or, yeah, story. Metaphor kasi siya eh, for... Spoiler ba ako? Sorry. Hindi, metaphor siya for the way... Structures, yung mga bagay-bagay sa lipunan natin. Okay. <laughs> Excluded talaga yung gays and people with disabilities. Okay. If you think about it, even the ramp thing, yeah. even yung subtitles, people keep complaining na bakit di ko matanggal yung subtitles sa trailer. And I was like, you're not the only one watching it. Right. Mm-hmm. Diba? Mm-hmm. Or you don't think of other people who probably won't be able to hear this. So parang that, the, the subtitles are gonna stay because it's an accessibility thing. Okay. So in the same way na the LGBTQ plus community, naglaban pa rin tayo for rights, the PWD community is also fighting for rights. And right. so, kaya siya isa gabi. Kaya yung mga locations, hindi siya BGC Mahati. Kaya lagi siyang maliliit na sulok-sulok sa kanto. Kasi visual manifestation siya of the ways in which this society isn't built for minority groups. Nice. And we go back to your learning in your masteral. Na ito yung parang... Hi po sa mga teacher ko na yeah. may incomplete po ako sa semester na ito. No. <laughs> Because of this? Oh no, oh no. Thesis ko na, tapos ko na po. Sorry. <laughs> Pakita po ito sa kanila. Baka bigyan ka na nila ng uno. Baka uno na yan direct. Go ahead. Alright, so uh, pagbigyan na na po another brainy question. To their exam, so this is a series. A lot of people thought na parang film siya. I thought it was a film actually. So if given the choice, how do you think it'd be different if it was a film compared to it, to it being a six-part series? Alam mo, sobrang romantic ko pa din. And syempre, first love ko pa din yung cinema. Kasi, di ba, there's something about seeing this image sa 40-foot screen sa Mega Mall that makes it so impactful. Pero on the other hand, gusto ko rin na as much people as possible are able to see this series, which people weren't able to do with my first two films. And the fact that it's on I Want and it's free for everyone to watch is super much more important to me than my romantic notion of seeing it on a big screen. I really appreciate how Lato Kayo emphasize yung na normal love story lang siya. And it's about accessibility at the end of the day to viewers, to mga characters na paper train yo. So last question na lang po, I think uh, sobrang important yung tanong, what are your pronouns? Hi, I'm Sam. Uh, I actually identify as queer, and my pronouns are she and her. Uh, how about love you and Janine? Yeah. My pronouns are also she and her. Same, she and her. Pero sa Tagalog, <laughs> wala siyang magkakaiba. It's just siya. <laughs> right. Thank you, thank you so much. Thank, thank, you. To it. thank, thank you. you. And I'm he and him. I'm siya ang galing no. Actually, right now, it's really yeah. important to ask for your pronouns. So, Brian. Lalas, yes. di ba? Kailangan alam mo ang pronouns before talking to somebody. Yung susunod na magtatanong, tapos sasabihin niya yung pronouns. Yeah. Oh, why not? Di ba? Why not? <laughs> Kinabahan si Alan. No, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. Before we uh, move to the next, na-mention kanina doon sa trailer yung word, uh, yung phrase na girl crush. Who are your girl crushes? <laughs> Buti lang we're gifted with a great actor sa no. Kung di maarte. True. Kung di bang arte, arte niyan siguro. Ano? Paano maarte? Ayun eh. Okay, oh girl. It's a joke. Tsaka ang daming bawal sa kutin. Like. Hindi naman siya na-mention. Alam. Girl crush? Yung parang si ano, si... Habit crush lang niya. Crush. Crush. Yeah. So actually, wanna, ang dami ko talagang natutunan doing this role. Kasi nga, I had to... Uh-huh. We, all, all of us, had to, um, you know, be convincing and authentic. And one of the things I learned is that it's kind of problematic pala to ask 
girl crush. Oh. There's explain, them. explain it, explain it. Si sa, na, medyo nakalimutan ko na so ako bakit. So that we eh. learned Basta about it. Nag, yeah, yeah. No, di ba? Ang interesting. So, Kasi sa, parang, bakit yun ang pwedeng crush? crush. Why, can't have a, why can't they have crushes on girls? So, right. Why can't Kasi I have a crush on a boy? <laughs> Nalala ko si David Beckham tinanong siya, who's your man crush? Parang yeah, ginanong yeah. siya. Oh, okay, tama. Ako din, I had no idea before. Right, na, right. Oh my God, so crush is crush, regardless of uh, regardless of gender. Uh, okay, we learned something new today. Okay. Thank you, Direct <laughs> Sam. Ako nagtanong noon. Aaron, sino next? Yes, part of the day. Huh? Girl crush naman kayo dati pa, di ba? Sinasabi niya naman sa mga intern. Oh, pero which we're changing it na nga daw. Para instead of labeling it with a... With with a girl, crush na lang. Crush is crush, uh-huh. period. Ano yeah. pronoun ito? Ando? <laughs> <laughs> Proper noun. Check Actually, sa showbiz naman, alam natin na mga po. <laughs> diba, napakadali lang naman. Ah, talaga ba? Wow. I, I mean, nagiging komplikado lang pag masyadong... Right. Then, sa kadondo, ako ang feeling ko talaga, the landscape is changing. True. I mean, before, ganito, ganito yung ganyan, but now, iba na siya. And we have to adjust to that. Diba? Ano The editor beside you siguro may tanong. Chika. Ian? Ian, chika. Ito nang Mike Ian, oh. Go. Okay, Be lover. Na, okay na, nalilisin. Baka mamaya, matanong din ako ng pronoun. Baka na yun siya ma-reveal. Ito, MJ, our next question will come from Kate. The very fresh Kate Adar. Oh, Random Hi. Republic. Hi. Pronoun, please. Chika. Hi, good afternoon. Um, for, for direct, kasi na-mention na kanina nga na the landscape is changing. So growing up ba, what was it like to have limited um, kinds of love stories na kadalasan mm, nice. boy girl lang? Ganun. Yeah, dahil walang representation, especially sa local media. Tsaka nung, nung despite looking very young, char. <laughs> Lumaya sa world na wala pang streaming, diba? Right. Wala pang YouTube. Right. So if I wanted to watch something, kailangan naghahanap ako ng okay, TV, tapos itatag- itatago ko pa siya sa parents ko. Yan. Pero I think one of the most visible effects nun, ng lack of representation, is that very late in life na ako nag-come out. Maski nag-UP ako ng college, hindi ako out. Kasi ganun ka, ganun ako ka, ano, wary of it. So, uh, nag-out ako ng 23 na ako. Kasi parang growing up, hindi ko nakita yung sarili ko on screen. Right. Kaya sobrang important for me na gumawa ng mga TV show at saka pelikula na maganda, hopeful, hindi nasasaktan yung mga characters, hindi sila minumura, hindi sila binubugbog, di ba? Kasi parang, I wanna make work that makes the younger me come out sooner. Right. May maybe follow up lang dito. What made you come out though? What empowered you to come out? Kasi, Brene, kaya ako ng ex ko. Ayun. Tapos Sunday yun. So, wala akong cover kada na pwede ko meron kasi lahat sila next season ba at my family dinner. So, may ako ako. Tapos, ano, nag-out ako sa mommy ko kasi wala akong ibang kausap. Aww. Oh. <laughs> Sabi niya, matagal na niyang alam. Pero, takot lang siya with the way the world will That's right. That's right. Um, I think all parents are like that, naman. Eh. They know. They're just. Natatakot lang din sila. They're just waiting for you to to say it, de ba? Uh, ako tira kyun Dawson's Creek, yung queer characters sa Dawson's Creek. Dun ako para. I'm sure alam na namin eh. I know. <laughs> Dawson's Creek. Hindi pa naman. Hindi pa naman tayo direct. Dawson's Creek. Yes. <laughs> Thank you, Direct, for sharing. Oh. <laughs> Tagal nga pala. Na-reveal na- na- tuloy yung age ko doon sa Dawson's Creek. <laughs> si Will yan, diba? Si Will. Oh. Yes! Uh, for my, ano, for my last... Siyempre, mga queer as fuck. Ay, wow! Medyo ano na yun, ha? Queer as fuck, ha? May yung queer as fuck. Yeah, may, ba- may reboot na sila. Ba? May budget sa series. Oh, yeah. Doon, no? hindi pa, ano? Yung kay Dolphy. May subscription. <laughs> My subscription! Yes, yes. 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 Go A! For my last question, um, very open naman si Janine kanina nagsabi kinilig siya. So what makes each other crushworthy or crushable? Ano yung quality ko? Oh, look at her! <laughs> <laughs> like Lily Barbie! Yeah. Yeah. 
Oh my gosh. Crush ng bayan naman talaga si Lovey wow. ever since. Same. I mean, Lovey po. When you say, ba? When you say, Lovey po. Ay, yeah, doon na yun. Yun lang. Alam nyo na. Bakit diba? siya? Mira. No, si Janine, she's very Yuna. beautiful. And I'm so cute. And no, hindi talaga. Tsaka yung personality more than anything talaga. Pag nakausap mo yung isang tao, tapos um, yung, yung conversation niya talaga, tuloy-tuloy. I think more than um, how Janine uh, looks like. Parang she's She's extremely beautiful. Everybody knows that. She's loved. By yes, she's, she's loved, loved, loved by many. <laughs> just kidding, including me and Sam. <laughs> no, no, but it's just, um, yeah, crush worthy. Talagang, I, I think when, when you're a good person, nararamdaman yun ng ibang tao. Your energy like speaks for itself, and then you just admire people who have good energy. Yeah. And Lovey is so talented. Happy. Yeah, I mean. It's so attractive, diba, when someone's talented and passionate about their job. So when she speaks, alam mo, parang... Yeah. Diba, makikinig ka? Sabi, parang sleep with me. Kasi sobrang... Hypnotizing. Hypnotizing yung ano eh, yung bosses eh. Tapos mabait. Thank you, Kate. Uh, who's next? Aaron. Yes, um, MJ, we are down to our last two. Oh, kasi may screening eh. <laughs> may screening pa tayo. But before that, uh, let's greet them Roldan Castro and Barry Chris Nicasio. Happy birthday. Hi! Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Okay, tawagin daw natin si Roldan sa kasi ano. Janine, celebrating their birthdays today. Hindi talaga. Oh wow. To follow ang cake. To follow ang cake. To follow daw ang cake. Courtesy ng Dreamscape and Corpcom. Lalating mama yan. Prayers muna. Atagam niyo ba yung gift? Prayers for a negative result. <laughs> Wait, okay na yun. Prayers for a negative result. I'll True. take that. Isa ng photo op. First time we're doing this for our editor friends. Did I want to join them, please? Happy birthday! Meron din. Ayan. Tapkan din direct, no? Roddy, mask out. Isang mabilis lang. Ayan. Ayan, contaminated na kayo. Chika. Hey! Ayan, may SD team tayo. Contaminated. Nakakalok. Washington Post. Washington Post. Contaminated. All right. Thank you very much. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Thank you. Happy birthday. Golden girls. Last two questions. Last two questions. So we have a question from Tracy. Cordulaza. Ejercito? Prezi time. Prezi time of... Go ahead, Prezi. Hello, Prezi. Prezi. Tayo ka naman. Hello, Prezi. Yan. Hello. That works. Hello po. Gusto ko lang sabihin, I'm a huge fan talaga. As in, nung nalaman kong pupunta ako, oh my God. Grabe. Even my friends po, sobrang excited. Oh my God, nung hindi ko sila. Anyway, um, Natanong na po halos lahat. So, eto na lang po. For the rest, huwag tanong kayo ng tanong na never pa namin. Nakaka-fresh. Ano po? Eto actually for you po. When or how did you realize na Lovie and Janine yung magiging perfect for their respective roles? Were you watching them? Were you following them already in their projects? Actually, ng college ako. Ano, nag-film school ako, di ba? Kasi sobrang thanks sa sa film school na manood ng Cinemalaya. Yeah. Tapos, pumunta akong Greenbelt, tapos nanood ako ng Sana dati. Tapos nandun si Lovie. And since then, parang sabi ko, one day, sa mga trabaho si Lovie. Oh, manifest! And I kept trying. Like, I tried and tried. And, and to her credit, maski no one pa ako, with no, zero experience, she still, like, for my first film, like, she still met with me and, like, gave me a chance. Maski hindi siya, ano, nangyari. So, Uh, and then for Jenny, naman, we've been friends for so long, and I've I've always like went to her film premieres and stuff like that. <laughs> and so we go for one day like her inevitability, na siya, na we are gonna work together because we're friends, come on. So uh, it wasn't that I knew they were perfect for the role, but it was more that I wrote the roles for them because I wanted to work with them. Thank you so much. Um, the next spot is. 
When discussing media representation of various groups, especially those we consider marginalized, stereotypes are often a primary concern. Did you gain new perspectives or what were the challenges that you faced just so you could re represent the LGBTQ community correctly? Yeah, super. Hindi lang LGBTQ plus community, pero for people with disabilities then. And grabe, so <laughs> like for Dreamscape, like we met so much times and I sent them so much materials because I really wanted them to, I wanted us to be able to do this correctly. So, um, sobrang burden siya eh, kasi parang kailangan, kailangan tama. And it's not a responsibility we took lightly. Pero it was something at the forefront always, at all times. Especially since they are cis head actors, like they underwent soji training and stuff like that. So parang we were extra careful about it. Like parang feeling ko, for me, in, in terms of prep, it was making sure the language was correct with everything that was going out as much as prepping the script in relation to for me. That's the best thing about someone who lives it so that he or she understands it or he understands it. Boy na boy, abunda naman. Uy, grabe naman. Hindi nakikinig lang ako kay Derek Sammy kasi... He's the best, no? May sinabi. Lahat natin ini-insight yun. Derek Sam, alam mo may sinabi ka din kanina, yung sa PWD. I just wanna say before I give back to you the microphone. Alam mo yung mga PWDs, yun na nga, sobrang abuse na nga sila. Tapos overused pa. When I say overused, parang people take advantage of it. Mm -hmm. yeah. May We really have to take a look at it. So yeah. And parang, try. I wanted to show Harry as Harry and Luna as Luna. Sila, people first. Right. Diba? Above all else, people first. And I think, it works naman. Like, nang pinanood yung, yung trailer, nag run ba sa head niya? Yeah. Parang, oh, but nang humbush. Parang, wala eh. You, you, it's story first at the center. And I think, so someone out there will be watching this in that same situation, Sobrang will change her life. Diba? Galing? Thank you, Pressy. Hey, may question ka pa? My, for my questions, may ata si Pressy. Last up, oh, sorry. Go! Go ahead, go ahead. No, no, no. <laughs> Screaming na! De joke lang, Pressy. Go ahead. Kung mga videohan kita habang ganyan, yeah. katanong ka, tapos kapat ka dito, tapos kapat na dito. Tapos siya IG na lang ni Direct Sam. No, no, no. Sorry po. Um, last na po. Um, last na po. May expectations po ba kayo for your audiences here sa Philippines kung paano nila ito take yung series? Kasi in comparison sa kung saan siya unang pinalabas, yun may awards kayo, ganyan. Feeling nyo po ba parang paano siya tatanggapin dito sa Philippines? Sana ano, actually matagal na akong kinakagahan. <laughs> Kasi gusto ko talaga mapanood siya ng tao. Um, as much people as possible. Hindi siya for selfish reasons, ah. Pero kasi, in a very practical sense, if this does well, syempre mas maraming stories na mag-greenlight na ganito. Na mas maraming tao yung maka-act, maka-direct, maka-sulat ng stories na ganito. Hindi lang kami. So, sana it does well talaga. Not for, not for us, but for the cause in general. Diba? Pero on a personal note, <laughs> in a not business sense, sana ma yung mga viewers, uh, they end up feeling safe and comfort. Kasi ang dami nangyayari sa mundo, diba? Na nakakalangkot. So, sana when they watch it, for 20 minutes, masaya na masaya. Thank you so much. Pang ganda na sagot niya lahat. Thank you, Press. Thank you. Direct, so it's 20 minutes per episode. Alright. Okay. okay yeah. Like, Actually, talagang nakaka-amaze. No? Talagang so puro articulate yeah. talaga Sabi si Derek wow, Saman. We have the best. We have the best host. We have the best director. True. And we have the best leads. Wow. Unbelievable. Very afternoon. articulate. Oh, oh, mm -hmm. Brilliant. Brilliant. Okay. And for our last question. And for our uh, killer question, syempre, ang kanyang pronoun ay he. An an pron an pronoun, please. <laughs> He and him, Alan Sagon. Yes, of uh, Stars Photo. Pag di deny yan. <laughs> Go, Alan. Eat and me. Or eat me. Joke <laughs> joke. <laughs> Alan, naka-live stream. <laughs> De, ah, congratulations. Yan. I mean, yung question ko to, ano, to Lobby, saka kay, ano, kay Jan. Lobby. Lobby. <laughs> <Lobby. laughs> yeah. 
Ay, ulitin ko, yung tanong ko kay Lovey. Oh! Tama na po. Good love, Alan. Kasi parang after doing this Sleep With Me, di ba? Parang very challenging yung role nyo. Aside from, di ba, hindi naman kayo, ano, ah, ako mag part ng LGBT pero you you do yung yung part ng ng ganon uh, ano yung mas challenging on your part yung yung inyong pagiging LGBT on this or yung inyong inyong kabansanan yeah. so, Uh, ano mas challenging? Ah, okay, so you're portraying kasi the one with disability and the one a member of the LGBT community. Which one was a little a bit challenging for you as an actor? Well, for me as an actor, uh, personally, yung um, yung disability because um, uh, because somehow na experience ko siya when I was on set na balik dad. So parang I can just like imagine the kind of judgment my character. Um, Uh, people who actually have it in, in, in real life, but because with um, hindi ko na na napansan yung yung uh, sa story. It's just more of like the disability. Yeah. As an actor, it was harder also to be a wheelchair user on set um, and to portray it convincingly. Kasi, yun nga, like na kwenta ni Direk Sam kanina na yung art lab, yung PD namin, ang dami ding natutunan, like fixing the set for a wheelchair user na kailangan there's a certain height, there's a cer there are certain um, changes that you have to make to accommodate the wheelchair. And hindi na iisip yun ng madaming tao in real life, like in how the layouts are made and like nakakadaan dyan. Oo, like, so, di ba? I mean, so, yun talaga yung naging challenging. Like, pati yung, <laughs> so yung wheelchair ko, inuwi ko sa hotel room ko nung una. Kasi I wanted na palagi ko siya kasama because like, I wanna practice and things like that. But even yung hotel room, masikip for a wheelchair. So, madami ka talagang kailangan isipin. Yung pag-swivel mo ng gano'n, yes, yun ang exactly. eh, di ba? Oo. So, parang, I hope din na people realize that um, you have to be accommodating to everyone when when there are things like that. Janine, Lovey, and Direk, tama pa ako? Makaya sinabi nilang parehong mahirap yung pagiging disabled is because you physicalize it unlike yung sa LGBT it's more of internal and syaka well I, for, I can speak for Lovie na para hindi mo kasi kita yung sa kanya eh. okay so sobrang dami na yung pag-uusap about how to para, para siya magpakita eh and yung effects niya on her as a again your condition is delayed sleep phase syndrome yeah. delayed sleep phase, phase syndrome in tagalog Mm, parang yeah. <laughs> parang hindi siya makatulog sa gabi parang, hindi siya parang insomnia parang yung 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 body chemistry niya nakatulog ah, siya so, balik tayo balik tayo balik tayo balik tayo so parang um, we had to show yung eh, yung emotions niya like how does it feel to be like para kang nasa kabilang side ng mundo. mundo. Kasi habang gising ang lahat, tulog ka. Right. You know, it's like, you're... Parang ngayon pa nga lang, nagigising kami ng 3am kasi oh. friend like kami. Ito sobrang lungkot na yan. Oh, kasi na ayun mga kagisa. Oo. So imagine going through that your whole life. Wow. Life. So parang, so yun ang gusto ipakita ni Sam that time. It's like, how, how can you show how lonely she is? And, right how alone she feels. Mga night owls. Yeah. Uh, Hindi kaya ng melatonin, ganyan, she can't be. Oh, thank you. Nung nag-graveyard din ako, nag-concentrate ako before when I was starting. I didn't know that! Yeah! Yun ni Marvin. <laughs> yung katawan ko nun, parang ayaw na ayaw niya ng umaga, gusto niya ng gabi. It's parang, anyway. But you're MJ Felipe now. Ay, you can sleep well. <laughs> Of intergal, I'm grateful. Of intergalactic proportions. That's the phrase of the day. Let's just scroll next to each other. The second question. Ah, no, no. Just for fun, last one. Essential. The killer question, pa daw eh. The second question. We're curious, lang kami. Ah, because parang tinatanong namin ta every time. Kailangan naman intimate scene, di ba? Kayo, how do you prepare for that intimate scene ninyong dalawa? Kailangan yung bang magbrush together, mag mag toothbrush. Together, holy hands kami. Yung bitu brush natin. 
Parang kailangan nyo bang mag mag mouthwash, something like that. <laughs> Actually, it's kind of the, the usual. I mean, the yung mga ganyan, chef, I respect mo yan sa co-actor mo. Kasi, chef, what if kakang dinner break nyo lang and everything? Unless, you know, but, um, yeah, th- those are little things naman. I mean, preparation is, um, I don't know. It's like the same as any love scene. Ako, uh, yeah, since I'm super shy, I admit, I was, uh, I admitted it naman yan. Like, I usually take a shot before doing it. An intimate scene. Tapos garlic longganisa pa naman ang pinakain ng dinner. Depends if you like your love scene. Diba? So mag, mag longganisa ka kapag ka hindi mo siya masyadong feel. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Wala niya. Shani. Ano ba yun? Baka may mag-comment na dati mong ka-love scene. Oh my God! Sabi ko na nag-longganisa niya. Ayaw pala sa akin yung love scene. Hindi! And then, minsan nga, oh, wag na lang kasi yung humor ko, wag na lang. Hindi <laughs> <laughs> siya masyadong acceptable. Go, uh, Alan. Kasi, uh, si Lovie yung veteran. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, so like the night before, sobrang, di ba, kailangan as a director to check in kung okay si Lovie, she read the script, kung handa na siya. Tapos parang feeling ko ako yung kid. I was like, <laughs> Yeah. Are you ready <laughs> now for them? <laughs> so right now, yeah. Oh, pero I mean, so blessing that they're both super capable and professional actors. Because it, as much as possible, we want to make it like, like you know, show sincerity in every scene and including this. Because a love scene isn't just a love scene to you know, it's not something that is there because you want to turn someone on. That's not how it works. You're showcasing love here. I mean, for some people, but that's why that's the beauty of um, for some shows, of course. But for the beauty of Sleep with Me is that really showcased love and it, it was just beautifully done and it felt so real because um you know we were talk- you mentioned earlier about um the awkwardness and the laughter you know when you first you know kiss someone it's, it's just nice Si Jenny. How about you, Jenny? Ano na yung preparation ko aside from ano? Sa ano pa na orin yung yung kasi yun yung ano yun yung live the most aggressive si Lovey. Oh God, I mean like in terms of nalaki yung mata niya. Kasi parang tanya na ba? Like hindi niya like si Jenny. Parang very expressive siya. Pero yung rules kasi nila si Love si Jenny yung most confident and aggressive. The most kaba si Jenny yung si Jenny as si Lovey yung like Awkward. Oh, okay. yeah. So I remember yung scene nga na sabi ni sa Lovey lo malabas yung ikaw na um, confident oh, okay. dun Sabi ko, ah talaga kasi nak- hindi ka napapansan na I was looking directly oh, sa eyes ni Janine. Sino bang ayaw tumingin directly sa eyes ni Janine? <laughs> But anyway, um, it was, um, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, that, that scene. Your preparations was now, aside from holding hands while brushing your teeth together. <laughs> um, actually, I, I kind of felt like chill because I know Lovey has done a lot of love scenes. <laughs> So I was like, so I was thinking na, ah, okay, carry lang to. And I feel safe with lovey. Parang yun kasi yung concern ko always if there's a love scene or a kissing scene na parang, shucks, ano mo, sino ba to? Like, oh my God, hindi ko siya kilala. Like, ako, anong gawin siya sa akin? Ganyan. So like, I know it's lovey, so I felt safe. So parang chill lang ako. So medyo nagulat nga ako na parang mas nervous si lovey kasi sa akin. Um, yeah, I kept, yeah, apologize. Yeah, but then I, I owe it to you. Because you made me feel so comfortable na parang I can do anything, I can act. So, I owe that comfort to Lovey and Direk making the set so comfortable. Kasi walang gulatan, it's girls, you feel safe. So, I really owe that to them. Pero sana panoorin niya this message niya kami after. Kung anong na-feel niyo. Text. So, number one, two, two, three, six, six, chart. <laughs> so, Kuya AJ, wait lang. So, di ba ito Wala pa na drop kahit na anong episode. Wala pa. Okay. So, August, today is the screening in Cinema 76, right? Tapos yung drop na one day is on August 15 sa I Want TFC. Alan, you're good? Uy, salamat sa lahat ng mga nagtanong. Thank you very much. Um, let's wrap it up by, siguro, the last question na lang is, Uh, 
Ano ang magandang last question? Parang Ay, ano eh, parang... Ganda ng pag-usapan. Ang ganda na ng kwentuhan the eh. Best, diba? the, the best talaga, one of the best conversations we have this afternoon, yeah. Uh-huh. Oh, kahit medyo parang ano siya, medyo... Ba, diba? Uh-huh. Pero ang dami natutuwa ako, I learned, I learned something you Don did. was very so... careful with his words when right. asking. No. Uh, 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 even, uh, what's your name again? You, you, did, you did well today. M. 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 Ang ganda ng mga tanong. From preview, si M. Even Madam, Alex Bro. Sa 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 galactic proportions. May credit ka na po sa next film. Oh! Sci-fi. Pero it's for the Philippine uh, Inquiry Lifestyle. Ayan. Sci-fi intergalactic love story. Siguro ano lang, uh, message na lang and why should we watch uh, Sleep With Me? Direct, you start first. Uh, ayan po. So I hope Uh, huwag niyo kalimutan na manood na Sleep With Me coming this August 15. Super promise ko po na kahit ano ang soji niyo, kikiligin kayo sa series na to. Starring Janine and Lovey. Hey, hey, super promise. Ayan. Yes, um, uh, love, Lovey. Yes. So August 15, um, uh, mapapanood niya na ang six episodes, right? Uh, ng Sleep With Me. And I'm sure you guys will enjoy it because it's such a beautiful love story. of um, um, two um, people who are super in love. So you should watch it. Lovey from your Jameski family. Thank you so much. Oh, wow. I have no idea uh, how much thankful we are having you in our family. No, I'm super grateful. Like, um, the fact uh, to be part of Dreamscape family, talagang, it, it truly is a blessing. Now I know why you guys exceed all expectations. It's because you guys are really one whole family. And the fact that you cre- you um, showcase these kinds of stories um, makes it even more like, uh, makes me even admire you guys because this is a one-of-a-kind story and it has to be out there. So thank you. I'm Saka ang maganda, so from Flower of Evil to Sleep With Me, magkaibang magkaiba yon. I'm curious, what's next? Ay! Manalaman natin yung internet. Ibang press con yun. This year. Iba, ay, ibang press con yun. host mo rin some of those media comments. Oh, no! Comments. Exciting. I have no clue. Oh, oh. And lalo naman si Janine. Janine. Grabe na yung Again. mga iba, kakaiba lahat. Pa, hindi natin makakasama yan for uh, 28 days kasi magdalak in a year. Janine. Tapos na ba ang first lock in mo? Wala pa. Ah, next, next pa. Thank you for make, uh, making things easier for everyone at production. You have no idea how much we appreciate you, Janine. You You've been with us, ano, mag two years pa lang, right? Yeah. Thank you, thank you. Alas magkasunod lang kayo na lobby. Thank you, Janine. And your word for everyone. Yes, thank you po. Sobrang thank you talaga for your support, for showing up. Um, and to all your viewers and readers, I hope na talagang you give the series time. And usually, hindi ko na iniisip na sana madaming manood. But now, I hope madaming manood kasi yun nga yung goal ni Derek Sam. And there's really so much to see in this series. And sana, you know, you share it with your friends, tag niyo yung friends niyo, yung family niyo. Um, and yes, enjoy Sleep With Me. It's yours now. Thank and you. let's make conversations, di ba? About, yes, the, yes, the mo- yes. about the series. Maraming salamat po. Thanks for joining Hi. us. Thanks, Derek. MJ, photo up with the, with the yes, class. Yes, please. Direct Sam. Yes, please. Ayan. MJ, you join, please.